Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to be installing OBS onto our Raspberry Pi 4. So let's get started. Now, before we begin, I do want to thank Jake Fox for mentioning this on my Twitch stream, which I'll leave a link over here. And that you could actually install OBS onto the Raspberry Pi 4, which I found super interesting because I've been getting really into streaming recently. Anyway, besides that point, uh, I did decide to make this video, needless to say, because it is not perfect. And anyone who's actually bold enough to figure this out could probably <laughs> help with trying to figure this out. Now, I am going to leave a link to the actual forum where you can copy and paste this code that will actually install everything, compile everything all in one shot. But I do want to show you the finer points on what's going on and uh, what needs to be fixed and stuff like that. Now, while you could actually get this to work on the Raspberry Pi 4 and it actually runs pretty decent, it's still missing its hardware encoders, which is the OMX. And not having a hardware decoder slash encoder makes it a little bit hard to stream. Now you're not gonna get full 30 frames per second while trying to screen capture. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Here I have OBS started up on Raspberry Pi 4. And uh, right now I actually, let me take, a, take off my video capture because I was playing around with something. But if I was to pop in say screen capture, and you can see on the bottom right, it's actually 30 frames per second using around 7% CPU. Now, keep in mind also, I do have this overclocked just to see if it gets a little bit better. So it's on two gigahertz overclocked on the CPU and 750 megahertz on the GPU. And I did get a few more frame increase, but not anywhere that I need. I was at 10 frames, now it's like 13 frames. You could actually make this a little bit better by going into studio, not studio mode, settings, and uh, lowering the output resolution from the video tab down here. Um, right now it's capturing at 1080 and I could change it to 720 and it's still gonna be like 14, 15 frames. Um, when you upload to Twitch or when you upload to YouTube, you will only see about 14, 15 frames. That's the frames that you're gonna see. And I think it also has to do with the input capture. So I'm on a 1080 screen right now. If I was to lower this down to say 720, hit apply, I should get a little bit better frame rate over here. So it's mostly everything that has to do with like encoding or decoding on the OMX, lacking that feature definitely puts a struggle onto the CPU as far as like previewing the screen or even streaming. So on my output tab, the only thing you could have is X264. Now FFmpeg VAAPI, it is supported. Now, if you compiled FFmpeg uh, VAAPI on uh, official Raspberry Pi FFmpeg version, that option is actually available, but the version of FFmpeg that comes with OMX does not. So I don't know if it's a matter of modifying some of the code in the OBS or is it just moving? I don't know. I'm not, that's how I'm making this video. For some of you guys who know what's going on or who are better with this, could probably figure it out in like two seconds so it doesn't work but it does detect the card it just doesn't work it's going to give me an error now also if i'm in recording same thing you know i could output to file i could do custom ffmpeg uh, flags uh, i could leave it as standard and i could do whatever i want to do over here and it'll actually uh film everything but again it's going to film everything around like 14 fps now it does work with like a webcam or something like that so i do have well, I did have a webcam plugged in. So I'm able to actually go in, pop in video capture device, hit okay. The thing is about this is that I gotta play around with the resolution first or it's gonna freeze up my system. Oh, I actually gotta restart my OBS. There you go. Just restart it, add a video capture device, edit this property. Now I could actually choose down uh, my HD cam so the resolution I'm actually gonna change to, uh, I can't change it yet until I change that, huh? So let me put that over there. And hit okay. Close out of this. It is very finicky. Like I said, it's not perfect. It's almost there. I w it would be great to get this working, especially like this will be a very low powered, cost efficient way to stream something that you wanna stream for 24 hours, maybe a traffic light or something or flowers blooming, I don't know. Whatever you guys wanna do, you could just leave this going. And technically, technically you could just do that with FFmpeg, but OBS does have a lot of cooler tools like overlays and stuff like that if you needed to do like chats. So now that I have the my webcam working and the voice chat working, I'm gonna 
and the screen capture working. I'm gonna get rid of the screen capture just so I could smooth this out a little bit. And look, I'm getting 30 frames without screen capture and it's actually really smooth with my webcam. The resolution is not perfect. It's, I think it's the box four, four thirds and I could probably change it to 1080, but it does run into a few little issues. When I change it to 1080, I got to restart OBS again. So I'm just gonna leave it like this for now. But as you can see, it works really well and it is working for the Raspberry Pi 4. So in hopes of showing you guys this, someone who is more knowledgeable could figure out the OMX into uh, the Raspberry Pi. And to be honest, I think it is highly possible because I've actually seen it done. Back in my XDA days, XDA forum, um, I've seen someone actually port OMX over to an OBS with uh, NVIDIA Tegra. So NVIDIA Tegra had, was using OMX and they were ab actually able to get OBS running with that. And that was, this was years ago, so I'm pretty sure it is just possible. It's just a matter of figuring out how to port this FFmpeg over. Now, I am going to show you guys this site right now. And you can see that, um, again, I'll leave a link down in the description below. The top part of this script you don't really need to do unless you are on a Raspberry Pi 3 or unless you are on one gig of RAM. And then this is the actual script that you just copy and paste. So I would copy this. I just close out of OBS because I don't need that extra CPU usage that I don't need. All right, so I would copy this and do nano script obs.sh and then paste this in here. And then I could just save it. And then once I run this script, let's chmod plus with an X obs so we could turn this into uh, executable and then sudo obs because it is gonna run um, install scripts from apt-get. So you have to use sudo in front. And once you do that, it's actually gonna download everything. Oh, I don't even have ethernet connected right now. But trust me when I say this, it's gonna download everything, install everything. And on the Raspberry Pi 4, it takes about 20 minutes to compile. Now I was told that on the Raspberry Pi 3, it takes about an hour. So yeah, depending on which one you're gonna use. Once you're done, you're also gonna have to do one more thing. So in the Raspberry Pi 4, and if you follow this form, it actually mentions it later on. But in the Raspberry Pi 4, um, when you start OBS, it actually automatically thinks you're in MISA 1.4. And we need to change that and convert it to tell it that it's 3.3. So what I ended up doing was in the menu entry, if I go into, um, what is it, graphics, sound and video, I go over to properties. I actually added this little thing called MISA version override 3.3. So you can actually start up the program. So I could do MISA GL version override 3.3 and type in OBS, and this will actually start up OBS. And if I don't do this, so let me close that out. If I don't do this and I just type in, yeah, and if I don't do this and I just type in OBS, it will actually kick back with an error. See, your GPAU is not supported or your graphic drivers may need to be updated you have to add that little thing. Now in my menu, you do have to add ENV, which converts the environment to MISA because you can't just start it with this. So adding ENV, then this MISA version, you could actually now edit your menu and start it right from the start menu group. So with that being said, again, in this forum, there's a lot of posts and people are updating it. This is very recent and people are updating it on uh, what steps to get next or by the time I upload this, God knows they might already have something posted to install OMX hardware encoding and decoding to be working. I'm not even too sure, but I'm going to pass it off to you guys. Let, let me know what you guys think about this. Um, I'm pretty excited for it because this is again, a very low powered streaming utility that you could use instead of just FFmpeg and have to capture that specific thing. OBS allows you to add overlays, transitions, other stuff onto the screen, which makes it a little bit more entertaining when you're when you're streaming on OBS. Anyway, if you guys have any questions about this, hit it down in the comments below. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say in my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.